here from justit8.com and today we're here at Sawtail Boulevard. That's right, it's the best place in order for you to get authentic ramen. Comment down below to let me know if you love ramen. That's right, hashtag authentic ramen. So today we're here with my mother. Check it out. Hi. This is Edna Linda Pittman. Hi, check on me, my IMDb. And please like in everything what we have. And I compare the right taste of the ramen from Japan up here, Santa Monica Boulevard in Saltel. Taste it and look at it. We can share it with you. And here we come. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go in and talk to you and tonkatsu show you some ramen. Let's go. Get in. Hashtag authentic ramen. Everything in between. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. So from Tonkutsu to Shio to show you. Yeah. Okay. If you're not of the ramen set, then you probably find it difficult to comprehend that. Why so many people get worked up over a bowl of soup? <laughs> Daikokuya mm -hmm. is an LA staple and it started the Los Angeles ramen craze for over a decade. Mm -hmm. Nice. Are you liking this kind of content? Definitely hit the share button because you might have some friends that are interested in ramen. So what are you having? I'm having the tonkatsu flavor of the real pork ramen in it. It's spicy in it. It's good for winter time. You feel the flavor. Mm. Make sure to hit the like button because it helps out the channel. This is salad. Mm -hmm. Here we this got is the meat dressing. And this is? This is kimchi. Kimchi. Okay. What's the flavor of the dressing? Sesame dressing. Sesame dressing. Sesame dressing. Oh, okay. How is it? I'm having 
the tuna puffy, but I'm gonna add the sesame dressing into it. Okay. To make it more flavor. Oh, okay. It's the way you have to make it more flavor mm -hmm. okay. with wasabi in it. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh-huh. Hi. Wow, our soup is here already? So what do you got here? Ribeye steak bowl. Thank you. It's a bowl of ribeye steak and rice. Ribeye steak and rice. Uh-huh. And you have the spicy... Spicy miso ramen. Ah. Okay. Your turn. This is the regular tofu ramen with pork and flavors of the eggs in it. Mm. But I'm gonna add the spicy ragi that makes more flavor. Okay. The sweetness and the spicy flavor. Mm. Okay. And mm. I'm going to add kimchi flavor. Oh my. This is the vegetables spicy. Wow. Okay. She's making this her is the real tofu ramen that we have in Osaka, Japan. Mm. Nice. That's the flavor, right there. Nice. Hi. Okay. That's a good one. That is good. But this is the tonkutsu ramen, and it's one of my favorite things here. I usually come here almost every year at least with a group of friends. Um, yeah, if I don't come every year, it's or more than, I don't know, if I don't ever come, it's like, I don't know, and it's like a piece of home here, because it is very authentic Japanese water. Yeah. I'm going to zoom in. Okay. okay. Yeah, what do you have there? So on the side, I got a small bowl of uh, honkutsu bowl, and it's practically a side dish. So I got a combo side. We actually all got combos here, and that's what I recommend. You get a little bit of salad, you get a little bit of bowl of rice with whatever topping you'd like, and your signature ramen here from Daikutsuya. Comment down below and let me know which of these ramens would you choose. And or try whenever you ever come here. Would you ever try the spicy miso ramen or the signature daikuya ramen? Comment down below and let me know. I'm gonna give a bite. I'm home. Mm. Every time you come here, I have to give you a tip. You want to check in on Yelp because there's always a line and you can outside. Stand that way. Always. Okay. So it's always crowded here, so definitely check in at Yelp.com and have an app ready downloaded on your phone. And you want to check in way before you come here because you're going to end up at least a one hour wait or two hours depending on the party. Okay? So yeah, that's a tip for you.
So in this bowl, we have chashu. And then we have bamboo. bamboo. We have green onions. And then we have a boiled egg. <laughs> and sprouts and green onions. So how spicy is your ramen? Okay. So it is hot, but it's hot? Only hot enough to clear your sinuses. Nothing oh. higher, nothing more. Okay. So it's not overwhelmingly hot. Is it like five star? The level of spiciness? I'd say about a six. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it more miso or more spicy? Yeah. Spicy. More spicy? Yeah. Money. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So, I'm trying her poke bowl or one of the poke bowl what she ordered that she put together herself. <laughs> Not bad. I'm gonna try the kimchi. The flavor. Yep. Mm. Okay. Hi. Pork bones are simmered sometimes up to 60 hours. What? One more time? To produce that velvety broth for the tonkotsu broth, pork bones are sometimes simmered up to 60 hours. Oh! <gasps> very wow. long time. Mmm! But then that's only tonkotsu. Like right now you're having miso ramen. Right, that's why I want you to pan the door. Oh, gotcha. Because you're having tonkotsu, right? Yeah. 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 You've, had, you've actually had the tonkotsu ramen from here and yes. you've had the spicy miso. Right. So which one do you like the best? Tonkotsu. <laughs> you like this one the best? Yeah. Okay. What made you try the spicy miso soup today? Only because I read an article online saying that the two most highly recommended ramen here at Dakuya is the miso soup, the spicy miso soup ramen, and then the tonkotsu. That's why. Since I've already tried the tonkotsu ramen, and I haven't tried the spicy miso soup ramen, I tried the miso. Soup. Yes. Uh, the tonkotsu is the original. Yes. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I like so the tonkotsu is the real cooking of the egg. It's really the classic. Oh, they made it in all sorts of different So it's really delicious. It's more flavor. And it's good for winter time. Especially when you are very cold. This is the right food to eat. If you have cold, this is the right food to have. Mm. Have fun! Rock is so I don't 
Looks like Senjuku. Senjuku? Right. It looks like Senjuku, Japan. Senjuku. <laughs> <laughs> Izakaya. We call that Izakaya right there. Is that the door? Yeah, Izakaya? the door. That place. It looks like one place, one restaurant inside. Uh -huh. Izakaya and all kinds of foods. <laughs> it's oh. like very home style. Oh, I see. Like Udon, fish, oh. Izaka Izakaya. Izakaya. Oh, yeah. Mmm. The ice. Uh, uh -huh. A little runny, yeah. the way we like it. Yeah. And the flavor is the tonkotsu favorite soup, the base. Ah. Oh. Really so the boiled egg has been sitting in the tonkotsu broth for a while too, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Keep chasing the flavor, guys. <laughs> Tell us how was your bowl? How was your bowl of rice? What'd you get? Oh, so I got the ribeye steak bowl. Uh -huh. So it was ribeye steak, uh, rice, and then some kind of like miso dressing on top. Ah. Oh, and then uh, onion. Scallion. Scallion. Uh, green onion. Green onion. Yeah. Ah, okay. It was good. You're gonna play some mahjong? Mom? You're not gonna go play mahjong with your mahjong friends? <laughs> There's always a line before and after. Yep. So, make sure to hit the red subscribe button and the bell if you really enjoyed the ramen adventure that we had today. Um, yeah, so always expand your mind and explore your palate and let's keep chasing the flavor, my eaters. I'll see you in the next video. Check out my hair. My bangs okay today? Okay. One more time. The Tesla charging station. Nice. The parking lot is awesome. So if you ever come to Daikukuya, you want to park here. In the past, we used to park in the street. But here, you could actually just park here and go to the restaurant. I'm going to be doing a shout out next from my last uploaded video. Stay tuned. Did you know that we did a cookbook? Check out our link in the description box below. And remember friends, expand, expand your mind, explore your palate, and let's keep chasing the flavor, my aiders. See you in the next video. See you in the next video. Cut. Cut, okay, cut. Okay.